train to a 727. <laughs> Let's see how it picks up the 727. It does see an obstacle. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah, so the static static display aircraft, it sees it as a very large object of some sort, so that's interesting. This train is crossing up here, so what I want to do is I want to beat the train and I'm going to try to get up here. Uh, there's plenty of train left. Oops. There's plenty of train left, so I should be able to beat it there. Uh, so this will be an interesting test. I've never experienced FSD beta with a train. So we're going to try to get ahead and wait at the railroad tracks. So we're racing the train right now, and we're, I mean, we're easily going to be waiting. So, I mean, an, an extra interesting fact about this is it's not just a regular train. It's an intermodal train that has all these containers on it, which look just like semi-trucks. So this is going to be a very interesting test. We have, you know, the double stacks. Uh, so I'm curious what the image recognition and full self-driving system does with this particular train. Uh, so I might turn around after we park up, not park, but stop up here. And... Okay, so let's see here what this looks like. Okay, so it sees the... Uh, the light. I really wish it would depict the cross buck and the actual uh, railroad control a little bit more accurately. So this is interesting. It shows strange patterns of big boxes right in front of us. Here come the locomotives. A couple in the middle, which is different. Okay, now we have the intermodal cars. There's an actual trailer. See, these are actual semi-trucks on the train. Um, yeah, so, I mean, this is not even a corner case. I mean, this is a common thing to happen, right? So it's interesting to see how that's depicted. So I think we've seen enough here. I'm going to turn around and then see if I can... Oops, that's just me not being in the right gear. See if I can race the train... So I can be holding short. I think the other one, I'm not sure if it had a crossing guard on it. I'm going to slow it down. I just don't want to go super fast across these tracks. I'm not sure how clear they are. Uh, so, appears clear left, right. Four sets of tracks. Quite rough. Okay, so what I think may have happened there is the accelerometers might have just got thrown off because we were bumping over those railroad tracks. My guess is the accelerometers said, what's going on here um, this doesn't feel normal and I'm gonna disengage so I'm pretty sure that's what happened there um, is the accelerometer just went crazy which makes sense because we were kind of bouncing across them okay five is pretty slow but we're gonna take five miles per hour and see if we make it across these railroad tracks we can see these cone-like obstacles here still clear left still clear right Okay, we have a drivable space. Oh, it's rough, all right. But we made it. So yeah, I'm thinking that last time we just set off the accelerometers, they were too high and the car freaked out, thinking that maybe it was in a, a worse situation than it was in. Okay, so one thing about railroad tracks, unless I'm personally familiar with them, I never know how rough they are. That one was not super smooth. The car took it <laughs> better than I would have thought. We're going to be going across this railroad track here. There is some road construction cones and stuff in the middle of the road. There are some rocks, potholes. We stop at the appropriate place for that stop sign. Very bumpy. And then we're going to go across this set of railroad tracks, which are moderately rough. Ugh. That's too fast. So I would hope that the car would, you know, take its accelerometer data into account and then associate that with that particular crossing and then say, okay, well, it was too much at 30 or 35, whatever it was doing. And then, you know, tell future cars to slow to maybe 15 to 20. Okay, a couple kids 
and their bicycles up here. Always have to be especially careful when there are pedestrians around. It does display both of them on the screen. <laughs> I can hear the, <laughs> the kid yelling, it's a Tesla. 